to kick things off here on Thursday Night Fights. So pleased you could join us across the country and around the world. Doug Fisher, Pedro Duran, I am the coach. Here we go. For Gomez, Doug, what does he need to do? You know, Gomez needs to get his jab off. He needs to come forward. Um, he is a boxer puncher with a very aggressive and seek and destroy mentality in there. He's always looking for the big shot. He just has to be in the right range to let that big shot go. And he can punch with his left or his right. Once he gets a guy hurt, he's a natural finisher. Four of his five career knockouts have come in the first round. Absolutely. Um, now, his last fight, this is 13 months ago, was uh, the first time he went eight rounds. So he can, he's not just a front runner, he, he can box the distance, but his mentality in there is that of the KO artist. That's his ring identity. Gomez wearing the red and gold trunks. Evangelista is in the black and gold. For Evangelista, what does he need to do? Well, he needs to take the confidence away from Gomez. I think he needs to establish his jab. He needs to keep Gomez on the outside because Gomez does his, his damage on the inside. I, I think it would be wise for Evangelista to work the body of Gomez. When we talk about moving up from, from four rounds, then eight rounds, then ten rounds, and, and all of these fighters would love one day to be in that 12-round category. That means they've really done something. How big of an issue is it to move up to, to, to higher rounds? Yeah, listen, you, you, you need to have fought a good six rounds before you move to the eight-round level. You need to have fought a good, that's a nice right hand from Evangelista. He's, he's here to win. Uh, you need to fight a good, hard, or at least uh, go eight rounds against an opponent that's going to give you quality resistance before you move on to the 10-round limit. Um, so somebody like Gomez, I feel like he should be 12-0 or 13-0. Uh, and I'm sure Beto Duran will speak to this. He He's undefeated in the ring, but he's lost some battles to the scale. Oh, oh and down uh -huh. goes Evangelista just like that. Cinco. Wow, those shots came out of nowhere. That's the kind of puncher Gomez is. And he, he cracks with both hands. All right, now inside of a minute, we'll see if Evangelista can even get out of this first round. And now Evangelista unleashing the hands. Yeah, he was trying to get to Gomez's body and slow him down a little bit. Oh, and another big right from Gomez. Look at the punching power. What a combination. That's it. And it's over. It's over. Well, we told you the first round knockout power by Gomez is very real, and he just showed us yeah, why. That's his ring identity. Now, listen, he's got an excellent amateur background. He, he won 100 amateur bouts, only lost five or six of them. He can get on his toes. He can box. He's got a good jab. He throws good combinations. But his ring identity is to seek and destroy. He's always looking for that one big punch. And like I told you, once he lands it, once he gets a guy hurt, it's just his instincts to finish it. Officially, two minutes and 43 seconds of the first round and wow let's take a look at the first knockdown about midway through that first round gomez on the hunt he threw a right to the body and then up to the head and and the right hand was his money punch he was able to lead with it and now here is the second and the eventual final knockdown of the fight yeah there's a, a straight right right down the pike and then a right cross to the temple Follow up right to the back of the head, just for good me measure. Kind of a Rocky Marciano move there. We're talking about a man who had 100 amateur victories. Not fights, victories. And we'll be back with the official announcement right after this.